he just did a quick Google search. He searched Robert Lim Chong Pang. Robert Lim is the only son of Lim Chong Pang and his second wife. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Goose, goosebumps. Bukit Brown Cemetery is one of my favourite places in Singapore. This historical location has seen me grow as a person and has helped me become the paranormal investigator that I am today. Exploring Bukit Brown Cemetery in the day, it feels like I am coming home to a different world. Located in central Singapore, this cemetery was the first Chinese municipal cemetery in colonial Singapore. It opened in 1922 and when it closed in 1973, it had an estimated 100,000 tombs of various sizes and shapes. Most of the tombs are constructed of fine stone reliefs from China and some even have decorative ceramic tiles from Europe. Some of the outstanding Singaporeans that are buried here include Chu Boon Lei, Lim Chong Pang, Ong Sam Leong and Dr. Lee Chu Neo, an aunt of former Singapore Prime Minister Lee Kuan Yew. Bukit Brown is like none other. It's surrounded by beautiful fauna and if you look hard enough, you'll find valuable pieces of our past. I wanted to do an EVP session at Ong Sam Leong's tomb, but I changed my mind after seeing the state of Mr. Ong's final resting place. It made me feel sad that nobody has looked after the grandest and largest tomb site in Bukit Brown Cemetery. This is how it looked when I visited the tomb before the pandemic. As I embarked on another paranormal adventure, I felt that I should offer a prayer to the gods that guard this place. So I prayed for the safety of my team and that we will get good results tonight. It's great to be back here at Bukit Brown Cemetery. I was here recently for a cameo for a Bollywood movie and then when I was here, I told myself, you know what, I've got to bring the team here because there are parts of the cemetery that we have never explored in previous episodes, so that's why we're here today. And uh, we're going to go to some areas that are really dark um, where nobody, I wouldn't say nobody, but most people don't go to, alright? So it's off the grid. And tonight looks like a good night because it's the full moon, it was raining earlier, so it's kind of cooling. So I'm really happy to be here. Our paranormal adventure starts now. We are at one of the most iconic tombs here at Bukit Brown Cemetery. This tomb is uh, the home of uh, Gyo Siok Leong. And it's iconic because of the Sikh guards that you see here. And we've had good activity here before, right? Uh, good activity as in we've had good results 
on our meters. Um, what's iconic about this tomb as well is that he planned uh, his coffin and uh, he planned how this whole layout is going to be before he passed on. I'm wondering if you're an entity that's nearby, you would like to make contact, can you please come closer? Uh, we've got paranormal gadgets here, uh, can't harm you. So there was wind that was just behind me, right? Just on this tree, this big tree that's behind me. Okay. Cemeteries are like my favorite spots to go to. Um, not Chinese cemeteries. I I used to like when I passed my motorbike license uh, three years ago. I used to go to Jalan Bahar there and uh, relax. The atmosphere is very relaxing. It's all nature. To me, it's not creepy, but I don't know what is it about. But Bukit Brown just gives off another vibe, especially if you try to go alone which I don't recommend. There was just mo momentarily like two bar, right? Just now, you saw? No? No, I was, I was looking around. I'm looking out for wildlife, so... Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of wild boar. Uh, nothing? Yeah, nothing much. Yeah, nothing much. Nothing, man. Yeah, very quiet. Yeah, it's very quiet. I thought there'll be a, a hive of activity because we saw uh, the vehicle go out earlier, then it did prayer. So usually when that happens here, we get this influx of activity. So for some reason, this area is very quiet. So maybe we should go down to where we saw the vehicle parked earlier. Because they did prayers there. Yeah. So maybe that is the spot that we should go to. If you can hear uh, vehicles in the background, uh, that's because we're next to the flyover, all right? But this was where prayers were done earlier and we saw uh, the vehicle, because this vehicle had all the lights, right? We saw it from, uh, from the expressway, so, or the flyover, whatever that is. So we saw this while driving around and we said, okay, maybe we will have some luck here. So I don't know whether what I did was a good thing or not because I mean I, I feel it's a good thing because at the, the two altars at the main gate I, I went to each one prayed with the joysticks I asked for protection for not just myself but for the three of us and then today right we come here there's nothing there's no activity nothing nothing yeah yeah except for my body you, you're having this cramp yeah on the right side, the whole. Like when did this cramp start? Just when I got out of the car. Hmm. You're a young man, that shouldn't happen. Okay, so AZ says we should come down this road. Uh, let's hope he, he's right because at Cambridge Park, he asked us to go to the pond and then we had this amazing activity. But let's check out the surrounding area first. <laughs> Where does this even lead us, man?
No, I think if we want to go up, we should go up where the stairs is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that spot is like calling out. Shall calling we do that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this tomb on top here. Uh huh. Is the tomb of Mr. and Mrs. Lim Lim Chong Pang. Huh. Oh, Chong Pang. Yeah. Mr. and Mrs. Lim Chong Pang. Yep. That's where we're gonna go after this for supper, man. So. Exactly. Uh, yep, these two. Yeah. Lim Chong Pang. Hmm. So this is the wife. This is. Husband. The husband. Right, and it was your idea earlier. You said, you know what, after the shoot, let's go to, uh, to uh, Chong Pang and have Nasi Lemak. Yeah, and then we come yeah, across. Yeah, the founders. Right, they are they are the people. Uh, Chompang is named after them. Yeah. How cool is that? Coincidence? I think not. Hmm. You know what? Since we are here, I'm gonna turn on the app that we used at. Kenridge Park and let's see whether we, we make contact. Love. Love? Okay. I was just about to ask if there's anything you'd like to say. Like what that was in my mind. I was just about to ask the question. Uh, and it says love. Love. Love is great. Love can be blind. Is there anything that you would like, anything else that you would like to say? For the fact that uh, we are standing right by the late uh, Mr. and Mrs. Lim Chong Pang and the first word came up was mm. love. Yeah. Spare. Robert. Sweet. Robert. What is uh, Mr. Chong Pang's English name? I don't know. His death anniversary is coming up though, it's 25th, 21st of July. What about you, ma'am? You died on the eve of National Day, the 8th of August, 1988. 88. No, no, 68. Oh, 68. Yeah. 1956. So this app that I'm using, uh, uses AI and it uses uh, it reads the environment as well to 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 come up with words that's in the dictionary that uh, it's most likely to be the word that you the entity want to say to us so we had love and we have Robert what else again again are you are you saying that I repeated the same line twice yeah because I messed up the first time so I said it the second time for the camera. The first one. Hmm? The first one what? Oh my god. What? I'm not joking. Uh, our cameraman Azar literally just did a quick Google search. He searched Robert Lim Chong Pang. Robert Lim is the only son of Lim Chong Pang and his second wife. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Goose, goosebumps. Hello and Mr. and Mrs. Oh wow. Name Chompang. Can the camera focus here? Can you try to see? Uh no I can't. Can't see. Yeah. Okay, but we we'll put that in uh I'll take a screenshot and we'll put it in the episode. Uh oh wow. Robert Lim. <laughs> okay. Robert. Is Robert Lim still alive? I'm don't know. I'm not sure. Well, we had love. We had Robert. Anything else you you want to tell me about your your lovely what family? Happened? What, what happened? happened? How, what yeah. happened is that we got a little spooked out. Yeah. Because first coincidence was he says he wants to go to Chompang to have nasi lemak. This was uh uh way before right we even came here, and then we come. To your grace, because we walk by the stairs, I told AZ, no, we need to go back to the stairs because I want to go up. And then we get here, and then here are your tombs. 
I would think that you guys were once wise people. You might still be wise in the afterlife. Is there any advice you would like to give us? I need to go. No, you you need to go. We need to go. What is this? It's a full sentence. Yeah. I need to go. I mean, just a quick question. Like, do you want to let us know anything, anything in life? No, I I, I think it was saying that he or she needs to go. So it's like we're done here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think. Thank you. For Thank your you. Time. Thank you. We'll keep the camera rolling while we walk out. Now see whether I pick up anything else. All right. What is it? It, it says there, there was the danger uh, right. thing that front. See danger. Yeah, there's there was this danger flash that 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 popped up. Are you warning us about wildlife or something supernatural? Like in front, but in front could be here, in front there. I think my gut says we need to go. Hmm. <laughs> okay, okay. One, one, one more question. Um, I'm trying to think of the question. Would you like me to come back and and put food offerings, food offerings at any point? Trying to stall time here. Is there a bad entity coming? That's why you need to go. Is there a bad entity here? Come on, man. Because it's always like that. The good ones want to communicate and then the nasty one comes along and everything goes haywire. I, I want to check out the, the area down there. Alright. Can you shine the torch there? To where? There. I hear rustling there. So. You hear that? Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, come. This test is our protection. Purgatory. 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 You're stuck. What is that? Purgatory is um a dimension between hell and heaven. Hmm. Um. Means on earth. What time is it now? Oh my god. Hmm. What time, what it's spiked, right? It's spiked in red. Hey, whatever it sounds in there, it sounds like a, like a giant, man. Right? It, it it can't be like a small animal, like a wild boar that makes so much noise. It's like loud stomping. Oh, yeah. Right? I can like, hear it. Jump, jump, jump. Just know, yeah. Yeah. It spiked all the way red. The EM, uh, the the, the K two meter. K two meter. <laughs> What's that? Dude, if this was a building, I would say, let's go, man. Let's go and, and see what's in there. But because it could be a babi hutan, right? A wild ball. And then if we go chase after a wild ball, it would be too nice to us. So I think let's back up a little bit. Yeah. Maybe it's staring at us. He... Or something else. It spiked when yeah. it went down here. Huh? Can't be an enemy. Yeah. If anything comes rushing out, we're gonna offer uh, AZ, okay? No. 
this has gone really leave okay why i want to know why yo yes you hear that mm -hmm. you hear what loud and clear rustling a lot mm. it's like a, it's like a whole bunch of trees rustling there yep Are you alright? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay. Why do you want us to leave? Threatening, but um, not willing to show. 22. 22? Are there 22 of you in there? Twenty-two. That's so odd. Twenty-two. So there's a bunch of leaves deep inside, just rustling all together. There's no wind, nothing. If you're wild ball, then obviously I'm gonna leave you the hell alone. Okay. Uh, with what we experienced here, like earlier part, you know, we can string it along. I think the last part here is good for an episode. What do you think? It is. It is right? good. Yeah. Um, the initial first one also quite good because everything else in there nothing nothing I, maybe because the prayers came in mm. they offered then after that they offered uh, could more. be but but AZ said let's check out this place and then we came in uh, and dude yeah. first thing it, it said on the app love love and then Robert and then we f and then we find out that the son's name is Robert Lim and then prior to that, earlier, like hours before, we said we're going to go have supper at? Chompang. Chompang. We're going to have nasi lemak. Yeah. And then we come in here, and we walk down, then I, go, then I said to AZ that uh, the stairs calls out to me, so let's go to the stairs. Go, we go to the stairs, go up, the grave, the, the tombs of Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Chompang. Lim Chompang. What the hell, man? That's awesome. Yeah. And huh. they called for Robert. Not mm. once, not twice, three times. Can you repeat? Mm. No, it's okay. We're not talking to you. You're ask, asking, can you repeat now? Uh, you're, you're probably a different entity. So, uh, I'm going to bid you farewell. Love, I love this place, man. It's always a brand new experience. Never ever... Danger. Yeah, danger again. So, throughout the whole investigation, um, it was calm, actually. There was not a lot of uh, disturbance. We were more scared of the wildlife here, but that was because it was raining earlier. But when we moved to another location in Bukit Brown itself, uh, I parked the car and the moment I stepped out of the car, that was when I felt that um, heat on my body, on my right side of my body, it was radiating and it started cramping my chest like hell, like really, really cramped. I, I couldn't explain it, but you know, uh, Azi, our cameraman, wanted to go to the other side of Bukit Brown, so let's say, like, why not? It's just a cramp. Maybe I got into the car wrongly, or maybe I got out of the car wrongly, but we'll never know because there's so much more to explore on the other side of Bukit Brown that we did not manage to because of the danger message that we received on the uh, Ghost Tube app. But I wish we actually spend more time, maybe, in the future, deeper in Bukit Brown. I don't know.